somebody who is on welfare and has nothing can visualize himself succeeding and prospering and become successful and prosperous. And to that I answer, yes! For everything that you can actually see yourself being, doing, and having, you can accomplish. If your mind can conceive prosperity, you will achieve prosperity. And where there is no vision, the people perish. All of you people who can't see yourself off of welfare, you're going to perish on welfare. All of you people who can't see yourself doing anything but working your life away all of your days and not enjoying life, you're going to die in that condition. For where there is no vision, the scripture declares, the people perish. But I'm here to teach you how to visualize your way to the good which you desire. Now here is another reason why visualization works. Visualization directs your mind toward the accomplishment of the good which you desire. You may put it in the first person if you want to. Perhaps we shall, and we'll affirm it in the first person. Visualization directs my mind. Together. Visualization directs my mind. Toward the accomplishment of the good which I desire. And here's another great secret of mind power, another great secret of mental energy. It is only your mind that you need to direct. You don't need to direct anybody else's mind. I only need to direct my mind to accomplish the good which I desire. Together, I only need to direct my mind to accomplish the good which I desire. You know, so many times today people are so hung up on what other people should be doing. And people are directing their minds toward blaming other people for their condition in life. Saying, well, you know, I could succeed, but this person, that person, and the other person are in my way. This thing is wrong. That thing is wrong. But in order for you to succeed and to accomplish the good which you desire, you only need to do what? Direct your own mind. Another sentence I'd like for you to write. Visualization directs the attention of your mind. Toward the good which you desire. In the first person, visualization directs the attention of my mind toward the good which I desire. Together, visualization directs Visualize, visualize, visualization directs the attention of my mind, the t-shirt,
so that the good which you direct your attention toward will be accomplished in you, through you, and for you. And now, I'm going to give you another affirmation to help you direct your mind in positive visualization, and it's this. I direct the attention of my mind toward the good which I desire. Together, I direct the attention of my mind toward the good which I desire. And here is something very important that I want to point out here. Be careful that you don't let your attention wander around and find all of the good reasons why you can't. <laughs> Do and be and have the good which you desire. Now let's ask for some confessions here. Isn't the conscious reasoning mind really good at wandering around finding out why you can't and telling you why you can't? How many of you ever have the experience of this? You see? <laughs> How many of you ever have the experience of desiring some good in your life? But as soon as you desire that good, immediately the conscious mind comes to you and tells you every reason why you can't. Come on, let's confess. Put my hand up on that. This is why here in this mind science, we teach you in visualization to redirect your attention. You learn to control your attention. Instead of letting the attention of your mind wander around and point out to you all the reasons why you can't, you get a hold of your mind. As Reverend Ike preached here a few months ago, tell your mind what to think. You get a hold of your mind. You get a hold of your attention. And you direct your attention toward the vision, the feeling, the idea, the belief of being and doing the good which you desire. For the mastermind speaking through Jesus told us, all power in heaven and in earth is given unto me. What does this mean? It means that within you, you have all of the power in consciousness and experience. It means all power in my mind and in my affairs is given unto me. I have power over my own mind and affairs, because mind governs affairs. Consciousness governs experience. And each individual is God of his own experience. Wow, that should blow some minds. You're not God over anybody else. But even the psalmist declares, have I not said you are gods and all children of the Most High? Now, there's only one God, but in God, every man is God of his own experience. Wow, wow, wow.